Now, if you're keen to extend your uh, contacts in the industry, what you could do is get membership with the Security Institute. So, Emma, tell us a little bit more about yourself and possible membership. Hello, my name is Emma Shaw. I'm the chairman of the Security Institute. Um, the membership is uh, the, the institute is a professional body for uh, people working, individuals working within the security sector. Um, we have about 1,500 members, just short of 1,500 members, uh, represented in 48 countries now, countries now. So whilst we're a UK-based organisation, we do look to represent people working in the security field globally. That's very impressive. So how do people benefit from membership with you? Well, we're, um, we're an institute, so we support members through chartered personal development. Um, we have a, a CPD process, uh, mentoring. So really we're looking for people, uh, looking to support people that are working within the security community um, who are wanting to develop themselves, develop themselves professionally through mentoring, through um, career framework development programmes, um, through education, whether that's academic or vocational. Um, and the Institute, of course, is a, is a great platform for networking with like-minded individuals. We're, we're quite specific about um, our validate. We have a validation process for people that are coming into the Institute. And so it's a, a, an assessment of someone's credentials as to what level of membership they get with us. Um, but as I say, we offer membership right the way through now to um, from students who are, uh, are new into the industry and, and those who we want to develop throughout the sector right the way through to some very very senior security professionals who achieve uh, you know fellow status. Now you say it's a validation process should people be uh, sort of wary or is it quite approachable sort of, of a process? Oh, absolutely I mean the whole purpose of the validation uh, system that we have in place is really to ascertain uh, people's experience um, so that actually what we're getting um, from our from our members is, is understanding firstly their experience and how we can help develop them so we have an understanding of where they're from but actually also ensuring that we have um, people from within the profession who are operating um, at a professional level. Perfect. Now you're all about building uh, networks of contacts with people. You must be doing a lot of networking here. Oh, absolutely. It's a perfect platform for the Institute. The Institute ha has a great relationship with IFSEC and we have done so for many years. Um, we are involved with a number of the academic theatres, the presentations and so on. We have about 50 of our members that are speaking over the course of three days at each of the, the seminars. And of course we, we have a partnership uh, arrangement in place with IFSEC which we've had for many years looking at different areas of where we can in, uh, you know, uh, work together to collaborate on, on professionalism and, and development of the security industry as a whole. Excellent. So why did you choose IFSEC for your, your partnership? Why not another exhibition? Um, we've had a long-standing relationship with IFSEC um, and, and not least of that we have a number of um, uh, IFSEC colleagues that are uh, Security Institute members as well. Um, it's a great platform for us, particularly being here in London. Um, it, it's, uh, the move from Birmingham to London is consistent with where the Security Institute are going in terms of we're looking to develop our, um, our presence overseas with our international members. So geographically it's a great location for us uh, this time because it allows us to be able to uh, get exposure from those that are attending from overseas. Perfect, so tell us about your stall. If somebody was wanting to approach you, what would they find here? Who can they talk to? Um, well, uh, right now they can find quite a few Institute members. Uh, there's a number of the board directors here. We've had a number of events going on uh, this morning uh, around uh, the, the IFSEC show as a whole. Um, so, so they can come and talk and network, um, but also actually what people can do is they can find out about how to professionally develop themselves, what things are on offer, um, look at some of the network development platforms that are available within the Institute, um, but also masterclasses, uh, vocational learning, um, uh, and of course just finding out and talking to people in the industry as what's going on and, and, and how it's changing for the better at the moment in terms of um, the, the uplift in the economic climate. That's perfect, so it's very friendly and if people are in a rush sort of on their way out to a meeting or something, is there some literature that they can pick up on their way to take with them? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's, there's literature here, um, there's always a friendly face here in terms of uh, you know, people are wanting advice and particularly if they're looking for employment um, or seeking new opportunities then there's someone here that can give them some, some advice and guidance. Excellent. If they want to know a little bit more as well, if they're on their iPads or another tablet at home, have you got a website that we can refer to? Yes, we've got a website uh, which is www.security-institute.org um, and also one thing that's worthy of note is to look at, certainly around professionalism, the Register of Chartered Security Professionals, um, which is uh, uh, the register for people that wish to become chartered within the industry and uh, the Security Institute manages that and the Worshipful Company being the owners of the register. 
That's lovely. Emma, thank you so much for talking to us. That's very informative and interesting. So do pay them a visit down here at the Security Institute to find out some more.